हेलो अरवन वेलकम टू पार्ट 145 ऑफ ई कॉम सीरीज इन लारावल 5.7 पॉइंट सेवन एंड फाइव पॉइंट एट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन दिस शिपिंग चार्जेस मॉडल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन द एडिट फंक्शनलिटी ऑफ द शिपिंग चार्जेस सो दैट वी कैन एड शिपिंग चार्जेस वी कैन अपडेट शिपिंग चार्जेस फॉर ऑल कंट्रीज ओके सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू Uh, make the shipping charges table we able to uh, uh, make the shipping charges module in admin panel and we able to fetch all the shipping charges in admin panel itself okay now in this video we will start working on the edit functionality so that we can edit we can update shipping charges for any country okay so uh, let's start and first of all we are going to add the link edit link uh, for the uh, shipping charges country so that we can update the shipping charge for any country okay so let's open uh, view underscore shipping blade pp file okay so this file view shipping underscore shipping this file we have created in last video this file we are going to open okay and here we are going to add the link okay for auditing shipping for updating shipping okay so we will add the link for it and that uh, route we are going to create in our next step okay so we will add the link in admin edit shipping okay edit shipping link we are going to add edit shipping okay and after that uh, like this and then Okay, yeah, fine. Then shipping ID. We are going to pass the shipping ID in our route. Okay, like this. Okay, and and this will end it, and we can close this one as well. Okay, like this. Okay, so we are going to check now. Here we will check. Okay, so that link is coming fine. here like id is 1 for afghanistan we will see uh, here you can check out that the link is coming fine uh, you can see here the link is coming fine like uh, first url after that slash admin uh, slash edit hyper shipping hyphen uh, then uh, slash 1 and here edit hyphen shipping slash 2 edit hyphen shipping slash 3 so it is coming fine the url is coming fine so we are going to now create the route for shipping okay so we will create the route straight away after view shipping here we are going to create a route uh, update shipping charges this route we are going to create okay so here we are going to give route match get post route we are going to make okay for shipping charges because both are required in this uh edit uh, shipping functionality okay so we will add get as well as post okay and after that we are going to add here admin edit shipping like this okay and also we are going to pass the id of the country okay you can also pass the country itself but we are uh, passing the id of the country okay shipping you can pass anything you want shipping country uh, sorry shipping controller and then a bit shipping like this okay so this edit shipping function we are going to create now okay this is our get post route for uh, edit shipping and now edit shipping we are going to create in shipping controller okay here we have only created view shipping now we are going to create edit and it's shipping like this okay so here in edit shipping uh, we are going to uh, fetch the uh, shipping details uh, here we also need to pass the id because we need to uh, fetch the shipping details of particular country okay so you can see that here also we are passing the id and here also we are passing the id okay when id goes here then we pass again to the function and 
from function we are going to get the details of this uh, shipping id okay uh, this id belongs to this id okay any of the uh, country and shipping charges means we can get the details of shipping from this id okay so i am going to uh, here uh, we'll add one variable shipping details variable like this okay and from this variable uh, we can get the details of the shipping okay like this ready dollar id okay then first like this okay and then we will go to go back to uh, shipping page once again admin shipping and this one uh, we are going to create edit underscore shipping file we are going to create Okay, this one we are going to create and we are going to pass this shipping details to okay. there. Like okay, so now we are going to create this file, a shipping file, like we have created new shipping. Now we need to create a shipping as well, and we need to create this uh, shipping in our admin shipping here we are going to create that file shipping dot create php so here the shipping form will come and we can open this file here or the shipping and we can get this form uh, from anywhere and uh, we can open any other page like we can open this patterns here we can open some other file from where we can get it like from new categories as well okay just we want uh, to display there okay like new currencies in new currencies also you can see uh, the edit currency form okay so we just need to pick any of the form so that we can get the layout and can make the changes okay so we are going to copy from the edit currency this file complete file i'm going to copy and paste here in edit shipping and then can make the changes here shipping okay very simple you know okay this one we can do here like this okay And else you can see here. Like this. Okay. So now we can uh, update here. Deep shipping and deep shipping. Uh, we are going to add uh, first of all country. Okay. Here. We are going to show country but country we can't update country okay so uh, we will just show it here and i'm going to remove uh, this name id for the country uh, we will just display the country here okay uh, and it's like country and we are going to make it read only like this okay and after that shipping charges that we want to update this okay and here also shipping charges will come so charges okay and here also shipping charges like this okay so and animal is not there we can remove the unwanted fields shipping charges okay now it is fine and one more field we need to add here and that is uh, for passing the shipping id okay so we will add one hidden field here uh, for passing the id that is the shipping id okay here one 
di sini contoh details okay so now we are going to check uh, this form okay and I'm going to I will go to shipping charges module and I will click on edit and you can see the form has come edit shipping form has come shipping and here as well we can uh, just display uh, shipping charges we can display shipping charges there as well uh, view shipping and here uh, shipping edit shipping and here as well we can uh, display here shipping charges same thing okay edit shipping edit shipping charges we can uh, right here edit shipping charges like this okay so now it is looking better shipping charges edit shipping charges and country is already there just the amount we need to update okay so the amount we will decide whatever the currency uh, like INR okay uh, okay, you can also my mention in brackets here INR if you want or you can mention dollar if you want to means whatever is your currency you can add it okay now uh, now if when we click on edit shipping we want uh, to update the shipping charges for Afghanistan like we uh, used to do like we do 100 here for Afghanistan it means that we want to update the 100 shipping charges for Afghanistan okay so like this it will work and uh, for this uh, we have uh, seen uh, we you can see that we have added in action admin edit hyphen shipping slash uh, that uh, id of the uh, shipping country okay and this one is the same url that we have used uh, for uh, for edit okay you uh, uh, earlier on we are using it for get uh, by get we are just uh, showing this page and now we are going to use post for submitting this form uh, to update the shipping charges for the country okay so let's do that now we are going to update this uh, shipping uh, charge uh, this audit shipping function once again and this time uh, we are going to update and uh, we are going to add here uh, request dollar request okay so after that we are going to add here in request is better post like this okay so after that we will get the data request all first I'm going to debug that the data is coming uh, when we want to update the shipping charges for the country data must come printer so like this I just refresh here and now I'm going to update the 100 for Afghanistan and edit shipping and you can see ID is equal to 1 and shipping charge is, is 100 so data is coming fine you can check with any other uh, country as well like if I uh, want to open it for India okay Edit shipping and you want to add 500 for India then we click on edit shipping then you can see ID is 99 for India and shipping charge is 500 okay so it is updating so now uh, you just need to update in our table okay shipping underscore charges table so for that we will write the query here uh, like shipping first model name will come after that we are going to compare with the ID of the country okay ID we are sending dollar ID you can also send the country if you, uh, if you want to send update 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 and then we 
we just need to update the shipping charges okay and and here we just uh, need to update the shipping charges whatever shipping charges we are sending we just need to update here we are sending run data so you can see here the shipping charges uh, we are sending in same variable shipping charges like this okay so this one like this we can update and of that return view uh, okay sorry return detect we will return detect back with success message okay back Okay, so now you can check. I am going back and uh, will try to update the shipping charges for India. Okay, I am going to refresh here and now I am going to update the shipping charges for India from 0 to 500. And we will click on edit shipping and uh, you can see after clicking on edit shipping it updates the charges to 500 and here the message is also coming shipping charges updated successfully and then you will refresh it and then it, it will come again 500 charges will come again so it's updated in our shipping charges table you can also check here for India okay and it must be updated okay you can check that 500 shipping charges have been added for India okay so like this you can update shipping charges for any country you can go back to shipping charges and check there as well okay so you can check here as well that for India shipping chart is coming fine okay like this you can also update for uh, any other country like if you want to update the shipping charges for Argentina okay uh, then you can just need to click on edit and you can update it to like 200 okay edit shipping and after editing you can come back to the page and then it is shown shipping charge successfully you can go to shipping uh, charges module once again okay and click on all shipping and you can see for argentina as well the 200 shipping has been updated okay so like this you can update the shipping charges for all the countries okay so that uh, we can uh, charge the customer uh, okay according to their uh, country okay at front end so in next video we are going to work on the front end we are going to apply the shipping charges at the time of order placement okay in order view page we are going to show these shipping charges and uh, we'll add in order total as well okay, according to the client according to our user delivery address according to uh, the user delivery country I mean shipping country we will charge the uh, sh shipping charges for the order okay so that thing we are going to do in next video and in this video we uh, able to finish the admin part of shipping charges this is the simple version and uh, later on we will also do the advanced one with weight okay but right now we are doing simply uh, for all the countries we are adding shipping charges for all the countries okay and we'll apply okay so the next video we are going to integrate this one at front end okay so that's all for now if you have any queries you can surely contact me in video description and do subscribe uh, for uh, to subscribe for Stack Developer channel, you need to subscribe, and you will get the updates of this uh, e yeah, this ecom series, dating series, and other series that we are going to start shortly. Okay, so that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.